all my third one and my fourth one. And I'm gonna put a teeny bit of salt right on top of here. I'm gonna squeeze a lemon into each one. One here, one here, and that's it. I mean, literally, you're done with dinner. I'm gonna grab a plate and just plate one of them up for moi. And moi. And moi. The two moi's here. And again, on a normal night, I probably would have Pasta or something. No, well not Reggie. pasta. Because, you know, couscous is the pasta. rice pasta. And, and, and a veggies. meat, but yeah, a veggie I would have. But again, it's late. Everyone's it's nine and no one everyone's ready to eat and we shouldn't we don't and I didn't have anything in the fridge. Um Is it really like hot as in No. You wanna try one? It's not hot. Oh. And then I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna that tries pork. good. Really good. So remember there's some bones in here, but um, so on this side, I'm gonna just cut up the pork here. And this had mustard in it, sage, and there's a teeny bit of pink. Um, when you press down, it goes down a little, but it, does, it and it bounces back up is how you know you're done. It was about three minutes aside because we were, well, Oh, very thin ones. Mm -hmm. Tastes really good. The pork is a little bit warm, but I took one of the first ones. It's okay. good, right? You can taste the mustard and the sage. And this one had the Dijon, so our, of course Jake shows up for the taste testing. He doesn't show up for the cleaning up and stuff, but he shows okay. up for the taste testing. So let me. I'm, I'm that is I just, so good. So, so salt, pepper, good. mustard, sage, couscous with just some chicken stock, salt and pepper, parsley and cranberries. And grab one. And that's it. And I think that probably so took 20 good. minutes to make. Maybe not even. So that's it for tonight. And so uh, you, those are the things what did you do in 30 seconds or less? You took all those things, you breaded, just to review. Oh, to review. So the couscous. It takes five minutes to cook. You put chicken broth into uh, one cup. It's one to one ratio. So if you're making two cups, you put two cups of chicken broth. Stop it right now, honey bun. And then um, both of you. <laughs> and then uh, get it to a boil. Put your uh, couscous in. Just stir it up. Take it off the heat. Cover it for five minutes. And then for the pork, they were already thin cutlet, got thin cutlets of pork. But I, um, you can pound them flat if you want to. They're about a half an inch thick. I took, and instead of the usual breading, I just put mustard mm -hmm. on each side of it, salt and pepper and sage, and then I put into panko breadcrumbs, which are Japanese, they're lighter, they're a little crispier. And then I pan fried them with about a quarter inch of canola oil. Each side took three minutes. Of course, if you have the thicker chops, which I did see at the store today, that's going to take longer. It'll be five to six minutes aside. If you have the really thin cutlets, I use those sometimes. They're used for like, um, like uh, uh, the like chicken mar veal, like the veal cutlets that you get really thin. Those take about a minute aside. So these took three minutes, and then we just cut them up, uh, just like fried them up. Like medium cutlet, like we medium size, like yep. medium thickness. And so we fried them up uh, each side three minutes. Let them rest for a minute out here. Put a squirt of lemon, a little bit more salt, pepper, and that was it. The whole meal. Done. So good. So good. So good. Dun, dun, dun. So good. Dun, dun. I got you. Dun, dun, dun. It's I, summer. I guess it's, that was a hit then. <laughs> yeah. See you next time. Bye. Bye. It's so good.